Hey, Thomas here, and today we're going to be taking a look at Tropic Marin's Elimifos Rapid. Ultimately, if you've got high phosphates that you'd like to bring down quickly and safely, and maybe don't want to have to get into carbon dosing, or maybe just don't want to deal with a reactor full of ferric oxide, then this might be exactly what you're looking for. Getting high phosphates in check is a priority for reefers, especially for newer reef aquariums going through that ugly phase, or even systems that are mature but have a very high bio load, or even older systems that just haven't gotten enough TLC and need to get back on track. While GFO works well, it does work best when used in a reactor, which not everyone has laying around or has enough space for. Carbon dosing is another option, but it takes time to see the results and is more of a way to control phosphates on an ongoing basis, and is really meant to become a permanent part of your reefing practices. Some reefers may already have a refugium going as their main source of nutrient export and maybe just need something to get those phosphates down to a reasonable level while they wait for their macroalgae to fill out enough to keep up with the bio load in their reef tank. And on that note, Lanthanum chloride is a very quick and effective way to remove phosphates from the water through binding and precipitation. It is dosed as a liquid, doesn't require a reactor, and because it works instantly, results are immediate. It does tend to come with a lot of caution and warnings though, since dosing too much too quickly can strip phosphates down to zero, which can be harmful for your corals and inverts, and even your fish which is why the average reefer will usually want to avoid using the lanthanum chloride products meant for other industries in their reef tank. Tropic Marin's Elimifos Rapid is in fact a lanthanum-based phosphate remover, but has clear instructions on how to measure and dose it safely and effectively to remove those pesky excess phosphates quickly so you can keep algae at bay, your corals colored up with strong growth, and spend more time enjoying your reef and less time managing nutrients. Which sounds great, right? There are a couple things to consider, but we'll touch on those shortly. You can pick up a Limifos Rapid in a 500 ml bottle that will remove up to 50 milligrams per liter or ppm of phosphates from 26 gallons of water, which works out roughly to 12.5 milligrams per liter of phosphate from 100 gallons of water. And when you consider that most of us are aiming for a phosphate level somewhere around or under 0.04 milligrams per liter and may only need to be removing, you know, 0 0.02, 0 0.03 milligrams per liter at a time, start to get a really good idea of how much phosphate removing power a single 500 milliliter bottle has and how long it's gonna last you. When added slowly to the aquarium, the Elimifos Rapid binds and precipitates out phosphate from the water instantly, making it unavailable to any phosphate hungry organisms like pest algae. It is really important whenever you're lowering the phosphate level in your reef system to take it slow and steady since any large swings or drops in phosphate level can cause serious issues for your corals, regardless of whether or not you're using lanthanum or GFO or some other sort of phosphate remover. Tropic Marin does also make that very clear in their instructions as well, which I am very glad to see. To use Elimifos Rapid, you'll always want to test your phosphate level first so you know exactly how far you need to bring your phosphates down to get them within the optimal range. The optimal range for most reefers is going to be somewhere between 0.04 and 0.01 milligrams per liter or ppm. Next, you'll want to determine how much Elimifos Rapid you'll need to reduce the phosphates from where they currently are down to the level you'd like them to be at. For example, if my phosphates are currently at 0.1 milligrams per liter and I want to get them down to 0.04 milligrams per liter, I need enough Elimifos Rapid to remove 0.06 milligrams per liter of phosphate. If my tank has roughly 80 gallons of water volume, including the sump and minus water displaced by sand and rock, that means 30 milliliters of Elimifos Rapid will reduce the phosphates in my tank by roughly 1.0 ppm. I only want to reduce it by 0.06 ppm, so I'll divide that 30 mil by 1.0 ppm, which leaves me with one mil removing 0.3 ppm from my system. Now I know I'll need two milliliters of Elimifos Rapid to get my tank to the target phosphate level. You'll also want to make sure not to reduce the phosphates by more than 0.1 milligrams per liter or ppm per day. And although my dose of two mil will only drop my phosphate level by 0.06, I will want to dose that as slowly as I can over the course of the day just to be safe. 
When you're adding a Limifos Rapid to your system, it's best to be added into or before your skimmer section. That way the precipitated phosphate can be trapped by both your mechanical filtration and your protein skimmer. The precipitate is very fine and will largely pass through mesh filter socks, but your protein skimmer should be able to remove it from the system. And in general, it's best to avoid adding it directly to your display tank. It is also a really good idea to keep an eye on your reef inhabitants, like your fish, corals, and inverts, especially if it's your first time using a lanthanum product, and stop right away if you notice any odd behavior or signs of stress. It is far less common to experience any negative side effects when using a reef-specific lanthanum product, but nevertheless, Tropic Marin advises reefers to be cautious, which makes perfect sense since any tool, if misused or mishandled, can be dangerous which is why there's so many warning labels on everything like medications and power tools and plastic bags. So if you're ready to kick those excess phosphates in the face and Tropic Marin's Elimifos Rapid matches your reefing mantra, you can go ahead and pick some up for yourself by clicking right here.